Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Metro Prime 2 Echoes Blind. In this episode, I'm going to be scanning this thing over here. Yeah, even though I did say I was going to go through the bridge and access things through the light door, I, I felt like exploring just back here really briefly, just in case, you know, because then this is going to take me to a, a dark door by the looks of it. But I'm on the lower one, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I can't actually go through here normally, but perhaps there's a little hatch or so, or at least where the camera switches. Is this going to perhaps maybe take me somewhere to get an item? There's an- Ah, oh, you tease. You bloody bloomin' tease. I can't even get that at a dam like this, can I? So I need to go up into the higher route, maybe? Okay, let me just try laying a bunch of bombs anyway, just to be sure. Because I can jump up here, but I cannot actually venture out unless- Hold up! Maybe what I could try, my suspicions are quite uh, high, to do this, maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. And if I go through here, it's going to be a super missile, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it said on the map anyway, so I can't even go through here anyway. Well, mm, I suppose at least now I know that the energy energy tank is there and that, so backtracking here will be necessary. Right, onwards to the light door. Okay, we're back here now, and I saw last time that I had to scan this, didn't I? Structure analysis complete, bridge locks in current position, and able to restore power or controls. Alright, so that's not really of any importance then, is it? Right, let's just venture through, and... Oh, right, for a second there I thought all the enemies in that were going to try and get me, but no, luckily not. Anything new? No, it doesn't look like it. It's just similar enemies just trying to attack me and whatnot. These things, though, are quite bloomin' creepy, because the closer they get, the more likely you are to blow up. Oh, and if you keep shooting them, it keeps them going back. You see, I'm always ultra-reliant on the charge beam. But no, it seems just shooting them normally can also help out here and there. For some reason, I thought that thing over there was some sort of suspicious item, but no, that was just me uh, shooting my beam. Because <laughs> it was glowing. At least I thought it was, anyway. Right. Let me just observe on the map. Oh, it's... That's kind of obvious that I just need to go that way. <laughs> cool. But why would these things be here? What are these for again? Uh... Twelve us hanging pods, and patrician magicians, yes, some may still contain useful items left over from the war. I don't think I've tried shooting at these. Oh! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to read a lot more in my spare time, don't I? Which is a shame, because I did say I would be doing that. Like, when I mentioned about the stuff that would be different in Prime 2. But unfortunately, that didn't seem to happen. For a second there I thought I heard humming, but no, not quite. Anyway, right. Get the light beam out and let's progress onward on that. It is kind of different though how you get given ammo this time, because see, in the first game, everything was just kind of, you know, free. You didn't have any ammo on pretty much anything. But this one, even though it does require ammo, you have to be slightly more careful. A new enemy! What the hell? That looks similar to a thing I fought in the first one. Oh, goodness. And they're using the same sort of instrument for the Parasite Queen, aren't they? Right. Also, oh goodness, I'm already on my scan. Why did I not scan it immediately? I thought it was just transitioning me outside of it, but no, not quite. Right. The Grenchula Water-Based Reptilian Predator. Well armored and deadly at any range, its pack shell is vulnerable to explosive blasts, however. Yeah, it's some little of those things I fought in Fenjana Drifts. The Amphibious Grenchula lurks in marsh areas in search of prey. Fearless, it will spring from hiding and attack anything that moves. If it is unable to fell its prey with its powerful jaws, it will fire a potent burst of energy at them. Grenchlers have one weak spot. A genetic uh, defect makes the shell on their back susceptible to explosive blasts. Remove the shell to expose a- oh, oh! Oh, really? I actually clicked it a bit too quick. Sorry about that. Right. Uh, was it? Remove the shell to expose a vulnerable nerve sensor, then target it to eliminate the creature. So, is it perhaps going to flash yellow when trying to shoot it, to basically get it down? I wonder. No, it's it's basically just going to be doing this. That's fine, I don't, I don't actually mind that. Right, I'd like to sidestep then around you and just repeatedly shoot my missiles, if possible. Also, I've discovered, like, even though it is good to sidestep, sometimes it is just better to jump over them. It's that that's not the case here, because it's not working, is it? <laughs> Right, let's go back a bit more and shoot you one more time, maybe just like so... How many times do I have to shoot you, I wonder? Oh, and it just keeps them coming, doesn't it? Yeah, got it. Cool, so the missile actually stuns them. Right, I'd like to take out the other one if possible. Right, I'm just going to keep doing this then. Because see, when they're stunned, it gives me better chances of encountering them, doesn't it? 
Or at least trying to hit their backs, anyway. Right, let's go around you, and now... So I wonder. Because you're exposed, right, yeah, because now I can take you down a lot easier, hopefully. Just like so. However, you no longer, uh... What's it? Flinch? Yeah, you don't flinch whenever I try to shoot my thing, so that's actually a real shame, isn't it? Now, what's it like if I use my charge beam? Great. It is actually really good. Because it seems to kill them slightly? Yeah. It, it does appear to do trick on that, because I can at least then jump over them. Oh my god, he's fighting me underwater. I am actually stuck. What's going on? Right, I need to li literally get outside of land. Bluminick, where are you? Right, you're over here. Got it. Okay, now let's try and get you from... Oh goodness, you exposed yourself just like that, and I missed my chance. Oh goodness, Bluminick. Oh man. Right, okay, let's go around. No, I want to go around and shoot you at the back, just like this. There we go. Luckily, I don't have to scan you anymore when trying to do that. Well, they were quite fearsome, weren't they? Hmm. And, right, for that, let's just collect as much stuff as we can before scanning those things. These counters research, really? Morphology, bloat sack gas generating plant form. Target creates beneficial gases. Poisonous sap keeps it from being eaten by most creatures. The humble bloat sack contributes to its ecology by producing large amounts of benevolent gases. It thrives in damp environments, though it can survive in most climates and terrains. The bloat sack secretes a venomous sap over its body. Very few creatures can ingest the sap and survive, making it a useful defensive mechanism for the plant. Please tell me that this applies to all of them, doesn't it? Thank goodness! I thought, I'm not gonna sit here scanning every single bloody plant just to add it to the lore, because that would take a bloomin... Oh my god, such a long time here and there. Also, I swear I hear the humming around here. If I destroy this, though, it's perhaps going to not do... Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, what? So I can't destroy them, like, at all, did it say? Let's see, process apps, uh, eat my creatures. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna read about it again. No. Doesn't appear to. <laughs> okay. Well, that's different here and there. Hmm, a bridge? It's gonna tell me about the bridge, isn't it? Powered bridge is online, yet its control system is missing from area. Unable to move bridge to a new position. Right, so I see I need to identify that then, don't I? Which ways can I go, though? I can go to the blue one up there, which then links back to there. But that probably wouldn't really work, would it? Actually, yeah, maybe it might, because this leads back to... Where else does this back to? It leads back to the Great Bridge. Yeah, which is the thing with the super missile and everything. Hmm, okay. The missile room is probably going to be a save room, under my theory. Then again, it might actually just be an entirely new area, because I thought that was the other one, didn't I? I need to go into the dark world to activate this in order to manipulate it and stuff, don't I? Oh, blimmin' heck, that's a shame. <laughs> and it's all the way out there! Wow. And there's a missile expansion! What a bloody tease! Look at that! It's all the way over there and everything. Ah, uh, blimmin' heck. Hmm. So then I need to rotate that in order to get towards the thing, don't I? So then my only theory to do is, well, for a start, to go back because I didn't shoot the missile door, did I? The missile door was... whereabouts was it? It was around this kind of area, wasn't it? Alright, let me just look at my map really quick. The red one appears to be... oh, actually, it might be up in there. Yeah, I think it is, because this is the highest part that I can go towards. But there doesn't appear to be anything else after that, does there? Huh, never mind then. Well, I guess then we are back onwards to the Dark World. Wow, already. <laughs> um, it's probably going to be like that throughout most of the areas, isn't it? Where you're going to see this thing and it's like, you need to go into the Dark World now and then save whatever it is that you're doing. Now, in ways, what I basically mean when I say it reminds me a lot of The Legend of Zelda Match Cap is because you are given those kind of areas to go to, and then you have to return to them and basically tell them what you've done? That's what I mean by it. So in ways, it does remind me a lot of it in that kind of way, because also they're under threat, and then you have to destroy this thing, and then you report back to them. It's the same kind of cycle. I wonder if Nintendo, like, took their ideas from that. Of, like, their own games. Let's see. Unit is a moving bridge. It is capable of receiving commands, but needs power. Energize nearby bomb slot to activate the bridge. Yeah, that thing over there, isn't it? Cool. Now, what about the dark creatures in this universe? Well, for a start, there's this thing over here. What is this? I thought it was a door at first. It's a dark sentinel 
Crystal, monitors the system designed for use in Dark Aether. Used by Luminoth soldiers to monitor critical areas throughout Dark Aether. Few remain. Those that do, broadcast data to Umos to Aether. Huh. The original Sentinel Crystals were durable, but they had their limits. The toxic nature of Dark Aether, coupled with constant attack from the Ing, destroyed many of them. The Luminoth responded with a Dark Sentinel Crystal, sheathed in dark energy. It is more resistant to the atmosphere of the Ing homeworld, and the attacks of its de uh, denizens. <laughs> it's a real shame though how when you're actually scanning, the thing does not replenish while you're scanning. <laughs> You know, like all this thing inside these safe stones and that, like it just kind of freezes, which is a real shame. Right. Now let's just observe. Ooh, a power bomb door. Probably coming back to that later. Oh my goodness, right. You know how long it took to do uh, the 100% item collection episode and that for Metro the first one? This one is probably going to be even bloody longer than that. <laughs> so I'm kind of dreading that side of things. Anyway, let's just scan this from this kind of distance. There we go. This is an in spear cache living storage unit to be in hoard. In spear keeps useful items in dimensional pockets. The pocket can be breached by destroying the in sphere. The in spear keeps useful items in the dimensional pocket. Normally, the in sphere will only release the item to its in masters. The pocket can be breached by destroying the in sphere. However, this sometimes destroys the item, but can be worth the risk. Really? Okay, let's try that out. Oh no, wait, if I shoot one of these. Uh, it's going to destroy the item though. Ooh! Oh goodness. Oh wait, no, no, no. <laughs> For a second there, I thought like it, it brought down the light beam, but no, that was just me <laughs> doing the thing as per usual, wasn't it? Right, let's just jump into here and just gain all that energy back, because that would be helpful at a time like this. Also, I gotta remind myself, the dark suit. It means that I can traverse around these areas a bit more safely, can't I? Because less energy is taken away. Right, well then, let's activate this bomb thing for a sec, and then it's probably going to tell me to go back to the light world immediately, isn't it? Because this thing's going to rotate, as is it going to accord into the light world, allowing me to gain access over there and get the missile expansion. Right? Is that what the faded thing was about? <laughs> Time to try it out. Oh, goodness. Sensor, you nearly killed me. Oh, I get it. So I see, even though it's rotated here, they're thinking, wait, where do you think you can go now? Because you can't go to this actual thing over here. However, I am reminded that, okay, let me just double check just to be sure. The light world, yeah, it was that thing over there, which I couldn't gain access to and it has the missile expansion. Right, however, I did notice back here, from careful observation, there's these mushroom type things in order for me to jump on and that. So I need to jump onto these, then go back into the light world, which then means that inside the light world, it should be the same. Uh, that's the right one, isn't it? Yes, it is. And of course, my theory was correct, as is this. What the frick? That looks different. Okay, I think I've just spawned this enemy that I'm probably not supposed to go near. A Dark Pyro Commando? <laughs> I was not expecting that! Oh dear. Darkling possessed elite space pirate. Increased combat ability due to symbiotic presence. Able to phase out of local time space. You don't say it. Did warp away for a bit there, didn't it? The aim prize. Uh, the view pirate commandos they managed to take alive. Only Hunter Ing are allowed to possess the commandos and the competition for that right is fierce among them. The Hunter Ing ability to phase out of local time space carries over to the Dark Pirate Commando. They will fire bursts of dark matter at enemies along with experimental EMP grenades <laughs> stolen from the space pirates. It doesn't even tell me its weakness. Oh my goodness, however, it's a Dark Pirate Commando. So you know what I am probably going to do? Stop scanning for a minute <laughs> and get my light beam out and identify where the heck it is and probably shoot this towards it. Um. Oh, it's down there. Right, I so I see. Let's try and get it from here then. Okay, maybe not. Right, so I need to pay attention to where it suddenly spawns. This time it is down there. Right, let's try and get you like that. There we go. And it's going to warp away. Got it. You are down there though. So now I can just slightly react to you. Oh goodness. Wow, 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 wow. Disrupt my blooming thing, why don't you? <laughs> Jeez. Alright, and now it's down here. So let's shoot another one. Oh, you blooming... It tricked me. How dare you? Is it perhaps going to fire its thing though? No, it isn't. Right, I'm just going to consume as much light energy as possible. Because I think it's kind of obvious that this is what affects it the most. Where is it? Oh, it's down there. Right, uh, is that the right one though? It doesn't look like it. I think it's that one over there, isn't it? 
<laughs> I see! Oh goodness, I'm so bad at this. Oh, did it go away? Oh no! I think that was a rare thing in order for me to get, and I, I, I nearly killed it, but it didn't quite work. Perhaps maybe what I should do next time is use my missiles. Oh goodness, I get the feeling it was one of those things that rarely appear. And upon defeating it, you probably get something special. <laughs> like maybe like a missile expansion here and there. Oh man, because the music's just suddenly changed. Oh well, at least now I get a missile expansion. Maybe that's what they want me to do. Use, use so many missiles because then you can regain them all by grabbing an expansion and therefore increasing your capacity, right? And there's another one over there. Oh man, they tease, don't they? Hmm. How do I get this one? Do I have to like perhaps... Wow, it looks like some kind of like morphal section here and there. Because I can jump down here in order to get it. Wait, where am I right now? Oh, I'm in an entirely new thing. For some reason I thought that door just led back out to the area. But no, not quite. And... Oh, alright, for a second there I thought I like lost all of it, but no, not quite. Hmm. Let's try going across here then, because it's in obviously like a morph ball section, isn't it? Oh, okay, maybe not. Let's go back, because I see that thing over there, and I would kindly like to scan that before it gets me. What is this thing over here? So let's try and get you from... Well, I can just get it from here, actually, can't I? Yeah, <laughs> nice. So this is a sporb lurking carnivorous, uh, carnivorous sorry, plant. Fires poisoned needles in battle can grip small objects in its jaws. The hanging sporb sits patiently until a potential meal is detected. The burst of poisoned needles is the spore's primary means of attack. It can also extend the body over short distances, gripping small targets from its powerful jaws. It might be an idea then to traverse the area and then take those guys out before going through the morphal section, right? Let's see now. So it's that thing over there, isn't it? Unless... Did I scan this? Yeah, I did. Maybe, uh, maybe a missile? No, nothing. Uh, is it going to come out? Maybe it only comes out when um, I'm in the morphal? Yeah, maybe that's the case. I mean, I've tried everything else, but it doesn't really appear to do much, does it? Yeah, so I need to basically be quite quick then in order to go buy it. Got it. Oh, nice. So you're going to tie me for this now, are you? You know, I actually don't mind that. That's cool. Hmm. So if I'm about here, though, I would like to find out how I get that missile. Because, I mean, even though I can go through here... Oh, it's going to take me there anyway. <laughs> it's going to take me outside of there, and then I'm going to be able to get the missile, right? So let's see if I just venture through here. And then there's the missile over there. But, radio, before doing that, I somehow need to... Okay, what is that for a start? That is a system designed to transport kinetic orbs. May have been part of a loading system for a kinetic orb weapon. Radio, I see. So I need to power that first, probably, in order to get that. Therefore, I have... Most likely just waste my time. Oh! Oh, I get it. I know how to get this one. I need to use the grapple beam in order to go by there, but I unfortunately don't have it. <laughs> That's a real shame, isn't it? Ah, uh, Blimineck, this area likes to tease, doesn't it, with all these items and whatnot. At least now, though, I can just escape outside and then probably traverse through the whole area again, right? Oh, wait, no, hang on, wait, I can go in here. Where does this take me? So take me up at the minute, because for some reason I just thought I couldn't access it, could I? Right. Can I blow this up? No, but I can uh, not quite do the thing. What I wanted to do, if the control will work with me. Wow, that thing was close. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Okay, let's just jump up here. Then traverse by, maybe? Right. Yeah, so I gotta be extremely careful of this. Perhaps maybe then the grapple beam just acts as some kind of shortcut towards it. But let's let it do its thing right here. There we go. Now, walk on by and just try to make it through as quick as as possible. Um, oh. Actually, never mind. I think it just takes me back to where I was. Yeah, it's probably just like some kind of shortcut then if you want to progress on backwards. Right, so this took me out to here, didn't it, with all this like thing going on. But it might just be better just to go inside like the dark world or so, correct? Yeah, I'm gonna cut ahead then towards where that is. Okay, actually, maybe not. It might be an idea for, to, for a start scan this. This is going to be made of Denzium. I thought so, because I could tell for the way it was made, so a power bomb is going to be needed. I might as well scan this, though. Let's see, unit unlocked in current firing position, auto fire feature enabled. And of course, that is going to unlock this thing, which then brings me up to theirs. Oh, I get it. It's like some kind of shortcut. That's smart, because I thought for a second that I had to make my way all the way back normally. 
just, you know, for like all the long treacherous journey, but no, I can just go like this and shoot myself all the way back here. In fact, have I even been up here before? I think I have, yeah, this is Denzium, so that's another thing that I need to use a power bomb for. Oh man! Oh, this is an actually an entirely new area. Oh my goodness, I have to <laughs> Goodness, so I can actually progress onward through here now. Now, I wonder, let me just look at the light well very quick, because I came from here, right? That was the portal over there, there was a light thing, there was a super missile, I don't think I can get up there just yet? As far as I'm aware? But I did activate the bomb thing up there, didn't I? Hmm. What I will probably do then is look through here, like, extremely briefly, and then kind of just assume what's going to happen. So let's see, what would this lead to? If it leads to a boss, I don't quite want to go into that boss room just yet. I wonder if this is a puzzle though. What is this? This is block is composed of tallow alloy erosion as we can invisible. Yes, but if I did that, it would then probably drop me down here, wouldn't it? Which I don't quite want to do. Unless oh I get it. Oh, this is in order to get the energy tank, isn't it? I think it's kind of obvious then that through this is probably most likely going to be a boss. And the only way to find out then is to shoot this. Also, <laughs> look at the way it's structured and everything. Yeah, it's, it's kind of clear then that that's the right way to go. What I want to do first then is use this in order to probably... Now, upon assumption... Okay, let me just do something to make things a bit easier. I came in this way, correct? And it was dead in the center. Right, so let me just map myself really quick. Whereabouts would the center be in preparation for this? Would it be this one here? Or perhaps this one right here? Or perhaps maybe I should just bomb one of them and see how it goes. I feel like the most one, it would probably be this one here. Because it says Telerik Alloy, doesn't it? Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm just stupid. It's this one right here, isn't it? In order to go down it. Because then if I drop down, it's then going to... Drop me immediately into the energy tank. I was expecting some kind of puzzle here and there, but no, not quite. Never mind. That is very needed. Wow. Um. Well, Dark World. Oh, damn it. I just realized something. I need to go into the Dark World in order to change the thing around again? But I can't actually do that. And now, li literally, the thing is currently stuck here at the minute, isn't it? Well, never mind then. It is literally upon suspicion of a theory, anyway. Go into there and then acquire the thing. Right, it's kind of obvious. Just, just saying. Right, it's kind of obvious what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go in there, fight a boss, get the super missile because there's a green door down there, isn't it? And then that allow me to access to all these other blooming areas, all these super missiles and whatnot, wherever they've gone. Where have they gone? I, I swear I still like more super missiles around here, at least in other areas, anyway. But still. So, you know what, I'm literally going to cut ahead then to where that is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is really useful, this. Wow. <laughs> you can just level up everything, can't you? Right, so now if I did this, and then I could just gain, like, practically 100 and everything, can't I? Aw, oh, that is sick. Alright. Finally here, and I've replenished all my health and just everything, because uh, just in case if it is literally a boss. And I might as well just scan this and end off the episode right here. Device is part of a compromised security system. Only basic door systems remain online. Yes. So, in the next episode of Metro Prime 2 Echoes Blind, we actually will end it on a nice note, where in the next one I'm going to be probably fighting a boss most likely. We'll find out. Take care, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>